Good evening from Poltar Park. Sinol Stall against Buckland Athletic this evening, but uh, not so important the match itself for the moment, but uh, the fact that uh, history making tonight in Sinol Stall, the first floodlit game here at Poltaire, and obviously everyone very excited. The club has worked hard to get this far. It's absolutely amazing, David. As, as you can see, it's you know it's a, a long time coming, 121 years history. We've had opportunities in the past where it hasn't quite come off for us and due to a lot of hard work by the committee, lots of backing, lots of help from football funding and it's, it's here, I can't believe it. Quite, quite choked to be perfectly honest with you. Floodlights were installed just literally a couple of weeks ago. Around the ground you can still see the remains of tractor marks and, uh, and a little bit of mud tonight because it's a bit soggy here. But uh, they'll be looking forward to obviously getting the game on, getting the lights working for the whole 90 minutes. They're working fine at the moment, as you can see. And uh, obviously everyone's very excited. Loads of cars coming in as the build-up uh, commences for the match. The game itself, well, uh, it's an Austal 10th in the South West Peninsula League Premier Division against Buckland, who, uh, after an 8-1 win last Saturday against the Royal Marines, will be coming here looking for another three points and looking to repeat uh, a win they had against an Austal a couple of weeks ago, which will help them uh, move up that table and uh, hopefully to end up in the top two and get promotion into the Western League next season. So that's an Austal against Buckland Athletic. Join me and Glenn Hooper summarising after the break. So, uh, welcome to Poltout Park, St. All Store, officially AFC St. All Store against Buckland Athletic. First ever floodlit game at uh, the ground here and. Uh, it's also a welcome to summariser this evening, Glenn Hooper, manager of Newquay and uh, ex St Blasey player and of course living in St Austin at the moment. So um, lots of interest for Glenn here and uh, before we go to Glenn, let's just see as uh, Black, uh, Buckland attacking through Simon Revel and a cross coming in but Gary Penhaligan safely down and collects it. So Glenn, uh, your thoughts on uh, the, the event? Yeah, evening Dave. It's great for the area, it's great for Cornish football. Um, you know, it's going to be an interesting one tonight. Looking at the pitch straight away, uh, it, it just might favour Sonorstal. It's very, very heavy. Um, Sonorstal go from back to front very early. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be a, a cracking evening for, for the area and, and a good evening for Cornish football. And it's Sonorstal on the attack at the moment. Dingle out uh, right to Douglas. Douglas inside to Campbell. Use Douglas again and lean with a cross. And... Uh, as you can probably tell already, that the pitch is uh, a little bit soggy up this top wing as uh, we're sitting in the stand here. One of the many things that uh, have been improved here over the last few seasons at Polter and Penhaligan, the goalkeeper, has uh, been here whilst all these changes have been happening. Just uh, a few years ago, they were close to dropping out of the Southwestern League and uh, turned things right around. And a win tonight would no doubt. Uh, be good and also be good for Cornish football in a sense, Glenn, that uh, no doubt any Bobbin supporter and player and official will be uh, supporting St Austell tonight. Yeah, I'd imagine Darren Gilbert will be here somewhere um, watching this one. Um, it's interesting, they both set up 4-4-2, so I think early days uh, in, in this game um, is going to be a very tight affair. Douglas, first time ball in towards body, body past the keeper Griffiths, empty goal to aim at and he misses. Wow, that is an absolute glorious chance. Um, Buckland were torn apart, uh, poor mistake at the back and Mike Body clean through, goes around the keeper, 20 yards out, open goal and, you know, technique for me, you know, you've, you've just got to hit the target and He's gone for too much power and, and I think again, you know, his foot's got underneath the ball and he's blazed it over from 20 yards, open goal. Big, big miss. The ball forward towards the 11, Revel. Early cross, Lynch gets there and he scores. Yeah, near post wasn't cut off from Sonostal. Ball came in, uh, Lee Wetters wasn't near enough to his near post, so it travelled across. Damon already put the covering tackle in. Unfortunately, it's dropped to, to Lynchy, and uh, you don't have to ask him twice to finish them. Moving forward, 
trying to get Revel in play, but intercepted by Ben Douglas. But then Wetter not able to get past Revel. Revel moving towards Penhaligan, but Penhaligan spreading himself and saving. Dingle. Wetter finding more ready. I'm not sure it was intended, but uh, not appreciated by the uh, Buckman number 14, Kelly. And a uh, little bit of fisticuffs, or what one? A little bit of reaction, anyway. Yeah, it was a little bit of a late challenge by Mike Body, but um, I think it's an overreaction from the player. And you know, that's the last thing Buckland are going to want to be doing is um, losing a player because of retaliation. St. Austell still applying the pressure as the throw comes in, comes off Drew. And the corner to the home side. Lean. Uh, footed towards his far post, Tinsley, and it's there, an equaliser. Yeah, I fancied him, uh, but he's uh, from this side. I've watched him play here many, many times. Uh, Buckland switched off, and I do believe the boys down in the bottom corner, that are, the ball boys all in the bottom corner, have contributed to that because uh, we're not used to that at this level. And, and it's unlike Buckland to switch off. And Will Tinsley was left unmarked at the back post and uh, finished with a cool uh, right-footed finish. St. Austell looked to break. And Carroll making the run, but really uh, would have taken some pass, I think, to find the Nankaro running forward. Yeah, wrong angle of pass. It needed to be more towards the corner flag than, than central. It was always going to go through to the keeper from there. Body again, already a little dink towards Nankaro. And then the fullback shuts down Mosley, but uh, Revel knocks it forward. There's hesitation there as to who's going for that ball. Lynch with the effort and Lynch with a goal. Um, Lynch used all his experience. Uh, kept Wets away from the attack in the first ball. Uh, waited for it to bounce and, and then won, won the second one and, and finished very calmly. Um, I think Lee Wetters will be disappointed with that. Buckler, no, for the moment, in possession. Smith header out, uh, only as far as Liam Mosley. Mosley with time finding Hammond. Hammond turned and shot, and it's into that far corner of the net. But with a 3 1 up now. Yeah, there he is, Hammond. Um, prolific goal scorer. He's just pulled on the diagonal. Um, not been followed. Pulled on the shoulder of Damon Mulready. And, um, you know, really clever finish in the end across the keeper. AFC Snorstall 1, Buckland Athletic 3.